Hi! Today I want to share with you another DIY calendar, advent calendar, you can do with your family. Let's get started! Before I start, I just want to warn you, this is available for purchase in my shop, and if you want to be surprised, you'll see um, all the contents here in a bit. So if you wanted to buy it and be surprised, stop the video and go buy it. And um, if you just want some ideas, keep watching. So I had seen some ideas on Pinterest of parents who buy their kids books throughout Advent and they open and they get a book every day or, or movies or something like that. So I decided to do a combination and do 12 days of entertainment. So I'm gonna share with you some of the books and movies I found at thrift stores and garage sales. Uh, then I will wrap them and number them and put them in the shop. When I do number them, I'm going to alternate between a book and a movie. But So here are just some of the ones I found. This is the best Christmas pageant ever. When I was in eighth grade, my um, homeroom teacher read this aloud to us and I just remember it was a really cute story and I enjoyed it so I grabbed that. The biggest snowman ever. And so because it is pre-loved, it does have a little note in there because <laughs> uh, I had found it at a thrift store but otherwise it's not, it's very gently used. It's a cute story. Uh, there's three snow bears. This actually, I believe, was ours. And my daughter just didn't want it anymore, but I love uh, Jan uh, Bray. Bray? Brett? I think it's Bray. Um, her illustrations and her books are just beautiful, so there's that one. Oh, I'm gonna skip these two. I'll come back to those. The Snowy Day. Classic. Here is one about um, Jesus' birth. So that is a good way to talk about the reason for Christmas. And then I found these, which are cool. They are little books, Christmas books, but they come with a record that will um, I believe read it aloud to you so that is pretty cool if you have a record player and then here's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer so even if you don't have a record player the the book and pictures they're beautiful and so um, those are nice okay now movies I found the star which had never been opened and so um, don't have to worry about scratches and stuff like that here is It's a Wonderful Life with White Christmas, so there's two in that one. And I checked the, the movies to make sure they weren't scratched. They're in good condition. And then here's Elf. Um, this one is a Blu-ray. And then The Muppet Christmas Carol. The last day, or I'm not sure which number I'll do for it, but the last one I have to show you um, is Peanuts, and it's just a sticker book uh, and coloring book. That would be fun for a little kiddo and some matching chapstick. Then I had these two as I was as I was shopping. I was just kind of picking up what I could find, um, and I thought these would just be two bonus little openings for. Um, Parent, but we have Christmas Vacation, once again, never been opened, and then Kelly Clarkson wrapped in red, just a nice little Christmas CD. So these are two bonuses that will also be included in the package.
So I'm finished wrapping um, all of the books and the movies and now I'm going to number them. And similar to the last um, advent calendar I put together, I'm going to use journaling cards and I'll tape it down with washi and the number I'm going to use this numbered washi tape. So there you go, another DIY advent calendar idea. Um, you can, what I like about this is you can pick books and movies that are nostalgic for you from your childhood that you want to share with your kids, wrap them up, and it's just a fun way to prepare for the Christmas season. Um, if you are interested in purchasing these ones for your children, then you can buy this. Um, advent calendar from my shop. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye! If you would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss a video.